The sights and sounds of the Roaring Twenties were on display once again at Ohika Castle in Huntington, Tuesday, May 3rd, for the second annual Gold Coast Mansion's Historic Long Island Gala. The group's founder, Nancy Melius Merton, says the organization has really grown over the past year, and its goal is to promote the Great Gatsby era mansions and historic sites across Long Island. And we uh, created for Long Island History Month uh, our second event. Last year was a press event. This year we've invited some of the public to attend the event to learn about the Gold Coast mansions and, and the initiative to, to uh, create a whole alliance and uh, to let people visit these estates that um, people don't know about. Uh, so it's really to create awareness, let them know that they're open to the public and that they do cool things besides just historic tours and things like that. So that they might remember the, these places as a child, but these places are, you know, they do, um, they have cafes, they have concerts. So there's really wonderful things taking place and, and, uh, and it's really fun to do them with these gorgeous backdrops where you can get have photography taken there and you know, so they're really inspiring and we really need to keep them alive uh, for Long Island um, and for the history of America. We have about four or five hundred people here today uh, who are excited about meeting you know, people that are from the mansions um, to learn about what they have to offer. There's such a wonderfully festive attitude here tonight um, and you have people dressed in uh, 1920s outfits and you have these wonderful classic cars outside and, um, and it's just a really wonderful party atmosphere that would have been reminiscent of what happened in the 1920s and where better to do it than Ohika Castle to start your mansion hopping and then go to the next mansion, go to the Vanderbilt tomorrow and Old Westbury Gardens the next day, Coal Hall the next day, uh, sky's the limit. One person who really supports the group is Suffolk County Legislator Vivian Valoria Fisher who dressed the part for the occasion. I love Nancy's idea of looking at the Gold Coast mansions and beyond because first and foremost this is a tremendous tourist attraction. It would be great to see people traverse the mansions from the Gold Coast all the way out through Vanderbilt, Sacta Coast Manor, all the way out to Shelter Island where there's a manor house and uh, it's a way of promoting Long Island and really recognizing and celebrating our cultural heritage and um, you know having fun. As you can tell I like to have fun. <laughs> One of the mansions in the group is the Vanderbilt Museum and Planetarium in Centerport, Eagle's Nest, the former summer home of William K. Vanderbilt II. Stephanie Gress, Director of Curatorial Affairs at the Vanderbilt Mansion, says collectively promoting Long Island's historic treasures makes a lot of sense. I'm very happy to be here representing the Vanderbilt Museum again for the second time. The Mansion Alliance for the North Shore Gold Coast has been wonderful. Nancy Milius has worked very hard to keep the organization strong and cohesive. We've had uh, a wonderful experience with uh, networking with the other mansions and um, giving each other all kinds of help and all kinds of networking opportunities. Uh, as a matter of fact, we refer people to the Ohika Castle all the time and they send people our way for group tours at the Vanderbilt. It's been um, something that's long overdue and every year we seem to have wonderful weather and a beautiful setting and the historic cars are here again and um, a great crowd and it's just a wonderful party atmosphere and I, I hope to continue it every year from now on. And as part of that organization we're promoting all the major Gold Coast mansions and encouraging people to see all the mansions this month and if they see six ma mansions this month they uh, re they're uh, entered into a drawing uh, at the end of the month so it encourages people to enjoy the history of Long Island which is very rich and to visit these wonderful places uh, along the north shore of uh, Nassau and Suffolk counties. Vanderbilt is so much uh, a part of Long Island history. You have to remember the Vanderbilt Motor Parkway, uh, the first international road races uh, ever held in the world uh, were held here on Long Island uh, and uh, although they started on the public roads they moved very very quickly to the Vanderbilt Motor Parkway uh, and so he is unique in that uh, uh, 
sort of situation. Uh, you also have uh, out here, if you're going to deal with history, why not deal with one of the great planetariums uh, in the New York area? Uh, there is no planetarium uh, outside of the Vanderbilt in Nassau or Suffolk County. So you've got a great time to sort of sneak out to the planetarium. You also can uh, take a tour of the mansion. It is, again, uh, one of the great mansions of the Gold Coast, uh, sort of the F. Scott Fitzgerald, the Great Gatsby era, uh, which is history in and of itself. But you can take a tour of a great mansion uh, decorated just the way Vanderbilt left it uh, when he gave it to the county in 1950. Vince Kish, Director of Communications at Old Westbury Garden, says it's important to remind everyone of the great historical and cultural opportunities available to Long Islanders close to home. Well, I think uh, that the beginning of, uh, or mid-spring, I should say, into summer, is a time when people should appreciate what we have going on here in Nassau County. There's a tendency to, for people to act as though uh, Nassau County goes away in uh, May, June, July, and August, and everyone heads out to the Hamptons or back to the city. And uh, part of what we're trying to do with the Gold Coast Mansion Alliance is to let people know we're here and it's worthwhile to stop here on your way to the Hamptons or just come here specifically. We have a lot of history, a lot of beautiful uh, old mansions, and the gardens in particular are really outstanding. We would like tours to come to Old Westbury Gardens and the surrounding mansions on Long Island. It's very important for tours to see the history that we have on Long Island. We have many, many beautiful mansions and gardens and historical sites that would be good for you to see. I think it's, it's doing great. I think Nancy has done a great job and, and everyone involved. It's really coming alive. You can see the turnout this year and uh, I think it's only going to get better uh, as years go on. And I, I think it's something Long Island really needed to unite all of the uh, properties and to Long Island History Month and kick it off and really turn it into something uh, what Long Island deserves is, is uh, you know, to, for this to be all known to the public. Nancy Leghart from Milneck Manor School for the Deaf says joining their group was a great decision for them since they just renovated their 1920s era mansion, the former Lillian Sefton Dodge Estate, for use as an event center. She says the group really helped guide them in their efforts. It's so great to be here tonight because last year we really weren't sure how we were going to proceed with our mansion and what we were going to do with it and being part of the alliance has given us so many ideas and opportunities to you know make the mansion marketable to Long Island people can come in and, and do tours and we're in a really good place right now we are ready to welcome Long Island and other states and, the, and people from around the world we're very excited Ohika owner Gary Milius, who restored Ohika Castle, says he's proud of the work the group has done over the past year to promote and preserve Long Island's historic mansions. Well, first of all, we're honored to have it here because there are so many great mansions. Um, not as many left as when they started here, but um, the few that are left are all grand and we're proud to be part of that whole group. Uh, my daughter Nancy has handled all of this. And uh, it's nice to see the old cars out here and people in their uh, attire, you know, of the time. So it's, it's wonderful. Perhaps one of the group's most famous supporters is the man who literally wrote the book. In fact, two of them are Long Island's Gold Coast mansions, Long Island author Nelson DeMille. Yeah, I mean, I wrote uh, Gold Coast 20 years ago. And, you know, there was a, a, a good movement then to preserve the mansions. But I like to think that Gold Coast helped that along and the sequel to Gold Coast was The Gatehouse which came out about three years ago and uh, I see that people have, a, have more awareness. When I was growing up on Long Island at the time when the mansions were all being torn down, nobody thought about it. But now you have a, you have a different situation where we realize that we, you know, we have lost a lot of our history but I think we're at a point where we are actually preserving the history now because the awareness is there, uh, hopefully partly because of my book, but also because just people, I think, are looking back at a simple time. It's kind of fun. And uh, I have to say here that, you know, Gary Milley is, is Long Island's host. Uh, he has hosted so many parties here in Ohika, his grand, grand house. And I remember when he bought it, I don't even know how long ago, and I, everybody said to him, Gary, you're making a mistake. And it wasn't a mistake as it turned out. It was actually uh, a, a, an act of faith 
but it paid off for him and I think it paid off for all of Long Island. I'm really proud to see the mansions come together and see how we've grown this past year. And we have now have a website and rack cards and, and we create events and, and some excitement together. And um, it's it's nice to see it's uh, it, that not only are the mansions excited about it, but the public is excited about it as well. We really want to be the pride of Long Island and, um, and I think we are. For more information on Gold Coast Mansions Historic Long Island and to find out how you can tour the mansions, go to historiclongisland.com. In Huntington, Chris Kalora reporting.